the new Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 trailer came out about a week ago and I had to take some time to process my thoughts but my thoughts are processed and the fucking hype is real hello my name is Jacob Ramirez and welcome to another video it's a rare occasion where I get back into like my little gaming era I guess you could say uh, before I actually started doing the stuff that I do on this channel now I was a gaming channel uh, when I was about 12 years old I always admired uh, the concept of just sitting around playing a video game and doing your own commentary on it that was that was really cool so I decided to give it a try but the thing was that I had a really annoying voice growing up I haven't really hit puberty yet and I just said a bunch of dumb shit and the worst part about it was I didn't know how to do it so I literally took my cheap ass camera and filmed my shitty tube TV now for the time it worked I really wasn't all that concerned about quality or anything I just liked playing video games and saying a whole bunch of bullshit but the reason why I'm bringing this up is my first games on there were Tony Hawk no Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1, 2, and 3, they're my favorite games of all time. Not just in that franchise, but just in general. And whenever something new comes out about the Pro Skater franchise, I get excited. Uh, I was let down by Pro Skater 5. I'll just get that out of the way right now. I don't like I don't like the Robomoto games. So every time like a new game that was made by Robomoto came out, I just was not interested at all because I knew we'd be getting like more of the same because Shred was just like Ride and Fi was just like HD but somehow even worse I didn't really like like the physics in that game they were glitchy as hell and I don't know They're, they just weren't good so I never really got excited about a Tony Hawk game in a while and don't even get me started about that mobile game. That's literally just Skateboard Party. So, one day, I was just chilling. It was, I think it was about a week ago. Uh, I was just chilling and my friend sent me a trailer for the new Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 uh, remaster. I watched it and I was like probably just another Robomoto game and what the fuck happened I thought Tony Hawk was out of his contract with Activision but as I was watching it it hit all the right notes for me you know literally the best thing they could have done was put police car in that trailer because that was those that the soundtrack to my childhood the first two games hearing police car again and then just the, the skateboarding and the graphics how they looked I was mesmerized the fact that they're bringing back all the original characters from the game and most of the original soundtrack I started thinking to myself wow this is actually really fucking cool and then at the end I saw Vicarious Visions instead of Robomoto and then my excitement went from like right here all the way up mainly because Vicarious Visions, if you don't know, everybody likes to talk about how they did the Crash Bandicoot remasters, and yeah, those were good. But I think they, are also, they also fail to recognize that these guys did all the handheld versions of the Tony Hawk games on DS. And those, DS, Game Boy, and those were really good. So pretty much any other game company besides Neversoft, I trust Vicarious Visions with it. <laughs> And I really think that they're going to do a good job. Uh, everything looked great. The graphics looked cool. Um, 
still I don't think graphics make a game but it's still nice it's still going to be nice to replay those classic levels that everybody knew and grew up with in like a new light uh, and playing all those original characters like the thing that pissed me off about 5 was they didn't have Rodney Mullen in there Rodney Mullen was in every game except for the first one and 5 I'm not sure about Ryder Shred I really don't care about those ones uh, but yeah I thought it was I thought it was really fucking dumb that they didn't have like Rodney Mullen in there so I mean don't get me wrong I understand that as the game's gone on they wanted to show like they wanted to show like the now as well but there's just some characters that you shouldn't leave out and I felt like Rodney Mullen was one of them but I'm glad that he's making a return in this game as well as, as well as uh, Cream Campbell, Chad Muska, Jamie Thomas, Elisa Steamer them they haven't been in games for a very long time and the fact that they're they came back for this one is really cool so I'm definitely excited uh, I really felt like this was a topic that I had to make a video on Tony Hawk's just that important and it was important to this channel before like I completely turned it upside down and rebuilt it so I don't know I'm kind of feeling like playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 uh, that was like the very first full game review that I did on this channel and I don't know I think it'd be pretty nice to just like sit back play that game again just see what happens you know so yeah maybe I'll do that uh, thank you for watching this video uh, just listen to me fanboy for however long this is uh, take care have a good one Wash your hands. Stay safe. Bye.